Hello and welcome. My name's Kathy A. And yes, it's time for June Faves and Flops. And yes, we are at our July 4th week coming up here. And I thought I would just go through some of the things from the past month that really um, got to me. And if you like my t-shirt, I, I did link it below. Uh, you do get it within a couple of days, so you still have time now to order this and it'll come well in advance of July 4th. So it's, it's you know, the Anglophile that I am. <laughs> I just thought this was the cutest t-shirt. Anyway, I'm going to start it off with food. I need like a hole in the head. Okay, this is, oh my god, please be in focus. This is... This is my favorite treat. Now, instead of a candy bar, instead of an ice cream, when you want something refreshing, tasty, kind of sweet, this isn't the healthiest thing on the planet. It is Greek yogurt, which is good. Uh, Boston cream pie flavored Greek yogurt. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. This is your best healthy sort of alternative to eating junk food. This is healthy junk food, okay? So, this is a flip from Chobani and you pull off the cover, thusly, and you see there's two parts here. You flip this stuff into the top here, and then you just take your spoon and you mix those two together. So we call them flips, Chobani flips. And this is the Boston cream pie flavor in honor of our great um, patriotic acts, <laughs> 1776. Um, this is delicious. There's pieces of cake crumbs in here, there's chocolate chips, and then there's kind of this custard filling uh, flavored yogurt. So I'm just going to grab a bite. Mmm. Mmm. So that is my treat of the month for sure. Well, since it is time for celebrations and there's weddings and anniversary parties, family picnics, barbecues, um, graduations, birthday parties, bridal showers, baby showers, grad parties, things like that, you might be wearing some clothes and, you know, a lot of us have gained a little weight over the last couple of years. And um, we could use a little bit of help smoothing things out underneath dresses because these are dresses that you know they may show a little bit more of us than we're comfortable showing so underneath your clothes a really good foundation can make a huge difference and um, girdles in the old days were very uncomfortable really thick hot horrible things we used to pull up do you remember girdles and then we had corsets that had those like ties in the back that really pulled you in they really could do some damage by biology wise to you too. Physiology is not good with them. So let's start with a hot day, sweating. Um, let's pretend I'm in this. Jeez, it looks like Dolly Parton here. But this this is like the amusement park, Dolly Land. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a um, it wicks away moisture. And if you've ever done what I've done and rolled up a paper towel and stuck it under there to wick up that moisture, you, you will appreciate this. This item was strictly made. It's a bra liner, it's called. And you basically stick it underneath your bra like this. And it absorbs all the sweat and water and so you don't have shredded pieces of paper towel running down your clothes halfway through the day. This works like a charm. It's so good, so good. And speaking of your bra, this is an arm skimmer. Now, if you're wearing three quarter or long sleeve, that sheer uh, dress or outfit, pants outfit or something, where a very a, shot, a sheer top, um, these are arm skimmers. And this is a particularly nice thing. You put it on like a bolero, but this front part goes underneath your bra and it snaps like a bra fastening. So um, you put it on like a bolero and snap underneath 
and they have you know different sizes of this so get the size closest to yours that they say don't go a size smaller like I've done in the past so when you put the um, the item, I'm not going to put it on but I'll show you I have you know bat wings so I can glide from tree to tree like Rocky the flying squirrel but basically what it does is it goes over your arm and they have colors of dark or light. It's dark or light. You've got to fit in there. But this covers so nicely and it's so invisible underneath a sheer shirt or a dress. It really helps. Three quarter sleeves or long sleeves. Um, you, they'll see it if you have a sleeveless on. You know, you don't want to show your undergarments. So what's nice about this is that the back side of this smooths your back fat. And the front side of this goes under your bra. You wear your own regular bra under there and it pushes those girls up. And as you know, you lose, what is it, 10 years for every inch below the center. So you want to keep the girls in, to make sure you're wearing the right bra size too. You want to make sure the girls are up between your elbow and your shoulder. They have to be right in the middle here. So this little item will help that. It's called an arm skimmer and it's under $20. I'll link it below because this is just a godsend. You know, this allows you to wear your own underwear. I like foundations in pieces so I can move them around and adjust them if I need to. If you wear one long piece that, you know, either fastens at the bottom or you have to pull it off completely, you have to strip down in the restroom if you have to go to the bathroom. Those things are not very comfortable. So if you still need that muffin top hold, this is a waist skimmer and it's a boned, um, you pull it up like a skirt and it goes up right here, right underneath your bra, right where that other piece ends. And it goes right to the top of your um, hip area. So it holds everything in. It's not gonna, you're not gonna lose a dress size, but you are gonna have everything smoothed out. And these have that boning in them, which is plastic. It's not, it's not some animal bone, okay? Um, it's plastic boning in here, so it keeps it up. It won't roll down on you. And that's what I like about this. It's not too bad, you know? It's not too tight, too constrictive, too awful. You can always take this off and you still have some support in other places, you know? Um, but this is a wonderful thing. It is called a waist skimmer or a waist trimmer. This is not like waist training. This is not one of those things that, um, like the Kim Kardashian thing. I don't, I totally don't condone that kind of wear at all. This is just to pull you in and smooth you out a little bit. This is not to shape your waist um, because that's just kind of physically not good for you. So anyway, I just thought I would mention that and if you have a dress or a shirt that's going down, um, these are in back in style. And this particular kind has a Velcro on it. So you put it in your, in here, you put it under your, your strap. And then to hold it in place there, you put this over the top of it. And it holds the, see it just gave a little shape. To the, to the corner there. And it will give you more of an hourglass shape. So, boy, aren't I a fashionista today, huh? Wearing my silly t-shirt and talking to you about high fashion. All right. Anyway, those um, special uh, pads, which we never thought we would see shoulder pads coming back in, but they really are helpful, especially if you have kind of a curvy, smaller, shoulder and you have a larger stomach this is one wonderful way to kind of hour shape your your figure back so and these are really cheap you can get these on amazon too so i'll link this kind of thing below so while walking through ulta fairly recently i noticed billy eilish has a new fragrance out and not that I've always wanted to smell like what I imagine Billie Eilish smells like, but I'm a big fan of hers, and it's quite an interesting bust um, fragrance holder that she has. Now, she and I probably have zero in common, but I am a fan of a lot of her music, and I thought this might be kind of an interesting scent, as you would imagine. So when I sprayed it on my arm, it had this beautiful, warm 
vanilla, bourbon, and amber scent. And I thought, wow, this is great. So I kind of walked around Ulta for a while and about oh, three or four minutes later, I smelled this god awful musk. The dry down scent to this fragrance is musk. And I hated it in the disco. And I don't know if it's my DNA because my DNA can certainly ruin any perfume <laughs> that, uh, oh gosh. Anyway, it was awful. So the only thing I can say is if you do like musk, it's a very subtle musk. It lasts all day. The vanilla, amber, bourbon, completely gone, only musk left. So I would imagine that Billie Eilish has like a soft vanilla, bourbony, amber, warm, friendly top note. And then she would go sensual and sexual with the musk. So it's perfect for her. And if you like that kind of thing, it may be perfect for you. But unfortunately, I wound up not buying it. But man, that was an interesting experience for sure. This is from the Dollar Tree, Dollar 25 Tree. This is a, like, it's a little painter's artist thing. So you can put your makeup on this and, and paint from this. I like this because you can put your primer on here. You can put your concealer, you can put your foundation. If you have cream blush or cream highlighter, you can put them in different dots and you can, you can you know, mess with it a little bit. I like that. So rather than putting it on your hand, which can be unsanitary, and then you forget sometimes to wash it off afterwards and you got a little problem. So I, I really like this, and it's from the Dollar Tree. I mean, um, don't get me wrong, I, I still use my, my glass plant. This is my plant stand, but it's just a glass plate. That's also from the Dollar Tree. And these two things work great for um, adding your makeup. I'm, you know, I'm the kind of reader that, uh, I look at the pictures in a magazine, I'll read like one of those People magazine kind of things, or uh, the, the rags at the Women's World, you know, to like cut out a recipe or something out of there. I'm not really a person that likes to sit and read a book, but I do like these books. And this is Marissa Peer, and she is Britain's number one therapist. She is... Um, she works from the idea that you can train your mind to overcome anything, any addiction, any problem. Um, you know, if you were raped as a child, if you were, uh, you know, had really horrible things happen, if you came from a disjointed home, if you're having trouble in relationships, if you have eating disorders or smoking disorders or um, you're abusive or you've been abused, um, this helps you heal. And she has wonderful methods for you for um, everything from weight loss to um, psychologically building up your self-esteem again. And a lot of us had damaging childhoods. You know, we had parents that they just flew by. You know, they just raised us the way they knew best. They didn't know any better in, in most cases. And she just talks about how you can turn around different events in your childhood so that it's a positive spin on it. I think she's the one who started this I am enough um, thing. I am enough. Um, and then this one is tell yourself a better lie. And this is about talking about things that happened in your past and getting getting healed from past uh, problems. So Marissa Peer, and uh, these are three of her books. I'm sure she has more, but I, I think these are her three most famous books. I'm midway through this one. And I really like her attitude a lot about this. Um, she's been very successful. She has been on those weight loss kind of programs on TV where she took a group of people and worked with them and they actually did better than the other teams. So she has this something to it, you know, and it's, it's all up here, it's all up in your mind. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, not necessarily about makeup and beauty, but just in general about organizing lifestyle stuff, things like that. And um, I might do a video showing all the kinds of channels I like to watch. But a fairly new one that I just started watching is Aura Katerina. And and I'll link it below. She is a young woman from Finland and she cleans houses really 
dirty houses and she tapes videos while she's cleaning to show you how she did it and um, she became famous because the reason she cleans houses is she hears stories from people that um, they were severely depressed for years they had horrible things happen in their life they were severe alcoholics and now they're on the turnaround or they had medical issues and couldn't take care of themselves and these are different than hoarders um, they are people that just never clean their house. They just came home, they ate, threw the box down on the floor and fell asleep. And they come home and eat, throw the box down, they would shower until the shower was clogged and then it wasn't working anymore. It was one of the houses she cleaned was six years it hadn't been cleaned. And I mean there was stuff this thick in the shower, it was in, and she's so cute. She's about 25 or so and she's from Finland. And so English is not her first language, and she's so adorable. She speaks in English, and she says, Oh, I went to open the door of this house. Uh, there was many trashes everywhere, and oh, it smelled bad. It smelled bad. <laughs> and I just love, I just, it's just something so satisfying watching her clean these houses. And she uses Scrub Daddy, Scrub Mommy, uh, scrub, uh, Scour Daddy, and uh, she uses the she uses dishwashing liquid and oven cleaner and these products and like a scrub mommy if you're not familiar with with this system it one side is like a magic eraser sponge and the other side is a more of a more tactile and grittier uh, sponge but it doesn't scratch surfaces and you can wash it over and over again you put it on the top shelf of your dishwasher and clean it that way but she cleans with this and dishwasher she she uses lint cloths on squeegees to clean floors she she's uh, very green but she goes into a place and it's stacked and it's smelling bad and she'll say oh i cannot wait to start cleaning this place scrub scrub you know and she's all excited about it and it's you can tell it probably really reeks really bad some of the places she's cleaned the, the clothes have fused to the floor as a mass. They can't even be divided anymore. They've been so grunged out, so gross. And then she'll say something like, oh, there's always a surprise under the bed. You know, and she's pulling out all this stuff under the bed and there's underwear and all kinds of stuff in there. Anyway, it's fascinating to watch. And I just thought I'd mention that, but I also, I'm a big, big supporter of this. I mean, and they don't know who I am and they don't support me and this wasn't sent to me. I paid my own cash money for this. But Scrub Mama is just a wonderful thing because you've got the magic eraser on this side which you can use for a number of things. I just wanted you to know that I, I love this and I watch organizing and cleaning programs as part of the YouTube viewing that I do. Um, you can't just watch makeup shows all the time. I'm sure you don't either. I'm sure you watch a variety of other things. Or do you? Well, anyway, this is the I Method wing stamp. There's a left and a right, and then on the other end of each of them is a, a um, eyeliner. You know, like you can fill it in with the with the eyeliner. And I'm finding that you know one side's left and one side's right, and. Um, So I'll just stamp it on my hand here. I'll just, that's the right. And I'll do the left. And there's the left. Now there's a learning curve with this because I have so many wrinkles with my eyes uh, on the end. I have so many wrinkles when I try to stamp, it just goes blah, 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 blah. like blah, blah, blah. it won't go like straight and the idea is that you take the flat bottom part and I mean I could try it now in front of you and I'm so embarrassed if I do it wrong all right let's see all right well okay it worked but it <laughs> There's a learning curve. There really is a learning curve. Now this is the right. So you just close your eyes. You, you hold that at the very bottom and stamp up. 
Okay, it worked again. <laughs> and then you take this and you fill it in, you know, so that it's a wing. I like the idea of this so much. I think it's so helpful for those of us who are a little unsteady with our hands. It's just you have to you have to put that larger bottom end right up against your lower uh, your the, where your lash line is, and then put it up. And the big trick is where do you put it? Where do you aim it? And so it's been taking me a little while to do it. Once once in a while I get it. Once in a while I don't. It doesn't encourage me to want to use it. But this is the um, eye stamp from Eye Method Beauty. And I wrote to them and I said, I'm really having some trouble getting a good straight line. And they said, oh, well then let's send you the blush and try the blush. <laughs> so I'm wearing the blush and the lipstick. And it's one of those things where you have, it's a stick, a multi-stick, and it's really pretty. So I'm just going to show you here. This is the Eye Method uh, Natural Looking Rocks All Over Face Blush Color. So this is what's on my lips right now. And I do have it on my cheeks. I'm just going to put a little bit more so I can look just a little bit more clownish today. I mean, it's really pretty. It works nicely. Now, the other side of it has a brush, uh, a very fine little brush. But I don't know if I like the brush. But the blush itself, you know, they have, and it comes in a stinking cute little box. Look at this box. It's a tin. You can put other things in it. When I travel, I may put my vitamins in here. I don't know. Um, really cute. He blushed. And the stamp, the eyeliner stamp. Now, they sent those to me, so, I mean, I'm going to make the best I can with it. But, I mean, I don't know. You know, I'm still not sure. Um, Revlon. And by the way, you know, people have been talking about Revlon. Um, the story is, and what I read in it was CNN that I read this in, okay? So it's not like one gossip against another. Uh, CNN said that Revlon reported that their accounting department accidentally paid off a loan, a large loan, prematurely. And in other words, instead of paying it in payments, they paid it off in full and it offset all of their finances so they filed chapter 11 for protection while they straighten out all their finances and get this loan situation taken care of it's kind of like if you're buying a house and you're paying the mortgage and by mistake the bank sends the whole mar the whole house payment in instead of paying the mortgage so that's what happened. So, you know, everybody's going, oh, and I love their lipstick and I don't want to see them close. And I'm like, no, 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 don't, don't send rumors like that around. Because I think you can hurt a company by telling people that they, they filed for Chapter 11. I think you can hurt them by it. People go, oh, well, I'm not going to buy that if they're closing, you know, and, and that could, you know, it could really backfire. So I'm going to ask you as a personal favor, if you can buy a Revlon lipstick because go buy a Revlon lipstick and help them out here so that they can straighten out things and get out of that chapter 11 status because I, I love this company and I think they're worth saving. <laughs> um, and I think that if you're continuing to tell people that they're going out of business or that they file for chapter 11, it's really just gonna cause people to not wanna buy them or, or think, well, they're not making anything new. Well, this is new, and unfortunately, this wasn't very good. This is the semi-permanent brow ink, and I just thought it was a hot mess. It comes in, this is not a good segue for this. I'm so sorry. I, you know, I love their lipsticks. Revlon lipsticks are great, okay? And what else do I like? I like Revlon's, um, this is their Color Stay. Let me just put some here because I could use some right now. It's hot in here and my makeup is melting. It's melting. Okay. 
yeah, this is good. This is the 5-in-1 um, concealer. And their lipstick. So those two things are really good, so buy them. Okay? From Revlon. But this, no. This, it, and it's new. <laughs> it's new! Um, this is the um, Colorstay Semi-Permanent Brow Ink. Now, it comes with a detachable spoolie, which doesn't connect back. You can't put it back on there. It, it's like this. So you set it down, <laughs> and then you open this part up, and it's a little thin, you know, like brush. Okay. But the stuff comes out really awkward looking. It's not nice little lines. There's little blotches of puddles of product. And then you're supposed to go over it with this, which is okay. A tiny little, you don't get very much of a handle to work with. I don't know if it was an afterthought that they decided to put the spoolie in there, but um, this didn't work at all for me. And the product seemed almost like it had spoiled because it was coming out really in blotchy little clumps. So this did not work. Sorry, Revlon. But I love your lipstick and I love your concealer. Eyeshadow. I picked up a couple new ones that I hadn't had before because my Ulta keeps running out of them. These are the Essence little, little tiny um, $4.99 eye kits. Oh my gosh, are these cute. Aren't they fun? I got Dancing Green instead of Dancing Queen. I love that. Which has some really tasteful shades in it. It's got a nice light shade. It's got a medium shade. It's got a couple shimmers, a dark shade. You can do a full cohesive eye look from this. And it's tasteful. I mean, this green doesn't seem to go with, with the green on the inside. And then there's the bronze. Um, the bronzed this way, instead of walk this way, bronzed this way, um, has some really nice neutral shades and this beautiful rose gold, which you can also use on your cheeks, by the way. Um, and then this is really nice as a liner, this one. So I like these two. I might actually get the series because they're just they're $4.99 each and I, I really think the quality is very good on these shadows and I know other people have talked about some of the other ones. There's Mauve Over or I'm Mauve, Mauve, Mauve It Over or something. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think these are great. These are really nice. So I do like both of these and I've used them together uh, for an eye look at work. and the quality of the shadows is nice, the colors are fun, uh, the nude one and the mauve one are probably a little more neutral. Um, I, would, I would say um, those are definitely worth it. I gotta talk about this because I'm so shocked. This is, and I don't like to throw these words around, holy grail, holy grail. I am so impressed with this from Ulta Beauty. Um, this is called Complexion Crush. Now they have like 12 different tubes of different types of makeups from Ulta, so just remember the word crushed and you're getting the right formula. This is a um, medium coverage foundation and I have, what shade do I have? This, now I have shade light to medium neutral. There seem to be a lot of shades in this, even at my Ulta, which has very few of everything. Um, and I like the way they're arranged. They have a whole section of the neutrals, a whole section of the warms. And so you can go to, you know, wherever you want to go and check it out. Uh, this is light to medium neutral, and I absolutely love this. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful foundation. And it's the perfect color, and it lasts a long time. It lasts through my whole work day, plus driving to and from work, plus, you know, stopping for pizza or something. 
it's absolutely wonderful. It's beautiful on, I've got it on today. It's, it lasts, it, it works well with other makeup. I don't know if I've been under a rock. I don't know if this is new or not, but this is Complexion Crush from Ulta. It's their brand and um, light to medium neutral. Absolutely stunning. absolutely totally recommend this this is my favorite foundation this year and I you know it kind of overrides my other one that I had earlier in the year but you know I don't know till I try them you know that I'm gonna really like them and it's not real expensive I think it's like 14 bucks yeah holy grail I could use that and throw out all my other foundations that's how holy grail it is okay and I'm picky you know I, I'm always getting new stuff I'm always trying new things I'm always thinking that I like something I'm not gonna get anything else and then I keep trying things it's the YouTube curse you know we try things we keep trying things soft silver red soft silver red <laughs> I'm going to take off some of this blush too. Wow. Woo. A little bit strong. So, I mentioned in my thumbnail facelift without surgery. I need to tell you about this. This is the secret lift. And um, I saw Tammy from Tammy's Ageless Beauty. She talked about this about three years ago and I never took any interest in it and I happen to notice that lately my gels are really strong and I thought I'm gonna see what that thing that Tammy was talking about is like and I got it and it's a bunch there's strings here there's a bunch of these little sticker things and they attach to wires so you get these two um, wires and let me see if you can see them they come with a little metal piece on the end and what that does is it slides through here. Okay, so it's stuck on there. Stuck on there. All right, and then this end attaches to this other side, which has a hook on it. it has a hook on it, and the hook holds itself against. the little knots that are in this string. Now this goes around your face and then these two things stick to the side of your face and pull them up. And these are all the replacement little stickies which are kind of neat. And the strings come in light and dark. And I thought, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try this. Now you can't have any moisturizer on your face where you're gonna put these things. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been wearing them <laughs> in this video, okay? I'm going to kind of take my hair away so you can see it, but this is it here. Right, or right here. So I'm gonna remove it so you can see the difference. How's that? Just in front of your face, I'm gonna remove it. Ow. Goes around your hair. And my face just fell. You see that?
this is the lighter shade one. It goes right under your hair. See? It goes under your hair and it was stuck on the side. And what it does is it pulls up your face. Pulls up your face, takes those jowls right out. So, now I wore them all day at work um, the other day. And the only thing I could say was that I had them really tight, I had them tighter than I did today. And I got a little bit of a headache from the thing after nine hours. But they did not release, they were there. And they were so undetectable. Nobody noticed them. I didn't notice them uh, when I looked in the mirror, and I don't know if you noticed them that I was wearing them today until I mentioned it. But that is the secret lift. You can do it a couple of different ways. They do have um, one that goes up over your head, up this way. It can pull you up that way if you want to pull it this way. But I think the jawline lift is probably the most extreme. It worked. It worked. I felt like it, I pulled it off. It worked. No surgery. Now I would not do this every day. I would only do this for a special event because if you constantly pull your skin like this, what do you think is going to happen? Uh huh. You're going to train it to get even flabbier and flabbier. So I'm thinking these things and you you know you get it in the dark for darker skin or darker hair your darker hair it hides right underneath your hairline so you basically take your hair and pull it up let me just do it <laughs> so you can see let me just pull this up here okay So I'm going to run this through. I'm going to do it with the other one so you can see it. And then um, that's held in place. That's held in place. Okay. So what you do is you set one side first. So I'm going to pull this off. So this is sticky. It's like almost like um, surgical tape. I'm going to put it right back there, down a bit. And I'm going to run it up behind my head. Okay, you ready? Stick it here. And then I'm going to let my hair down. Alright. So then you put your hair over the top of it and you don't see it. And it pulls it up. So it's very easy and I just release it and just pull it right off and it comes off just like a surgical tape, um, medical tape. Now I don't know, um, these are the light shade and these are the dark shade, but this is what it's called, secret lift. And they give you really good directions for both kinds. You know, if you want to do the jaw lift, they show you the best placement areas if you want to do a little bit of an eye lift up here. Um, you don't want to go too far in because it can get wrinkly, you know, and you don't want to make it too tight or it'll make um, wrinkle lines of strain lines, strain lines. So I just put a little bit here just to pull it up and release because these gels down in here really bother me. So it works really nicely and um, they even have extenders if you need them. I think this is an amazing product. I totally recommend it. And now I did do an LA Girl special and um, I had tried this new newer product from them that I hadn't tried before and I have been enjoying it. This is the grapefruit flavor of their lip oil and gosh it's nice. It's so pleasant really. 
It's very nourishing. There is a wafting of grapefruit, which isn't unpleasant at all. This is so good for moisturizing your lips. I mean, it's just nice to carry with you. It's refreshing almost. So that was, you know, out of the LA Girl and LA Colors thing. Um, also the nail polish, which of course I'm not wearing any right now. I love this necklace and I got it from a company called Nateo Beauty and they have this particular one in several different gemstones. They're real gemstones. It's sterling silver. They're absolutely beautiful and it's so unique. It's a nice adjustable um, chain with this. It doesn't turn sour. It doesn't turn your skin green. It's absolutely, it's so unique. The design of the arrow with the little red garnet is just so cute. I mean, really beautiful. I'm wearing the wrong outfit to display this item, but, and no, I didn't go down the rabbit hole again. <laughs> this beautiful ring they sent to me, um, it looks real. It's got a nice heavy weight and that's my phone. <laughs> absolutely stunning, look at that beautiful it's beautiful so if you're at in um, a place where you don't want anybody to bother you <laughs> put it on for that but they have like you know um, if there's any men watching this is a really cheap engagement ring <laughs> but it's beautiful oh my goodness so beautiful I've forgotten what a ring feels like on that finger if you know what I mean <laughs> yeah let me just put it here absolutely stunning really really pretty um, they make beautiful jewelry this company and they are certified um, they're in the global gemological research academy um, an independent jewel institute they specialize in identifying gemstones and jewels and provide reliable and accurate gemstones and jewels testing service so they not only create beautiful jewelry but they also will test your jewelry for accuracy and for authenticity so i really like this and they're a really nice company um they did send me these two things and i i mean they they let me pick out whatever i wanted and i picked out the arrow they sent me the ring and i thought well boy <laughs> you know if ever somebody doesn't want to go down this black hole again, it's me. But, you know, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I've forgotten how much fun it was to wear um, a diamond. You know, so nice to wear a diamond. Oh, sigh. You know, there are some good relationships. There really are. And you know, when you're at this stage, it's the best part of the marriage is being engaged, isn't it? You know, and then once you get married, it goes right from, from there down. For most of us i don't know some of you are happily married good for you beautiful ring absolutely stunning so thank you so much uh Niteo jewelry for sending this i absolutely wonderful people to work with and uh they did send me this stuff for free i can't wait to wear this with i have something planned to wear this when i go and meet brendan fraser because he likes he's an archer you know so anyway <laughs> Nateo Jewelry, I'll link them below and um, there is a code that you can use and get, I think it's 20% off or something like that, anything on the site. It's beautiful, it's quality jewelry, it's not the junk stuff from China, it's quality jewelry, so um, definitely please check them out. So you know I've been doing this since 2013 and that's nine years now and this is the least amount of stuff I have purchased in one month. <laughs> but I mean, you've seen my, my LA Girl and LA Colors uh, special, and I did talk a little bit about that stuff. But um, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will be back with you very soon. I think I will do that video showing you all the other channels I like to watch and their links, because they are so interesting. And I'm starting to broaden my horizons here, really starting to take off. I hope you all are having a wonderful week. Have a wonderful fourth. Ungrateful colonials. <laughs> and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.